Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another video for you all. On October 23rd, Humanware released the 1.4 update for the third generation Victor Reader stream, and it offers a number of very awesome enhancements. And one of the biggest ones is with notes. So recording notes has always been a popular feature on the stream, or if you want to capture a meeting or telephone conversation or take a memo about something that you need to do later, the stream has always been a great way to do that. And one thing that I think a lot of people have wanted for a while now is the ability to categorize those notes that you record. Well, with the 1.4 update, Humanware has delivered this capability. And in this video, we'll go ahead and take a look at how it works. I'll admit, this is a feature I actually didn't know if I'd really use, but I quite love how it's implemented, so we'll explore that in this video. Now, a bit of little information before we do that, you may notice a difference in quality with this video. I am very excited. This is my first official video using a new setup that I have that will allow me to record direct audio of the devices that I'm demonstrating and use a more professional sounding mic. So I'm hoping this will work. This is kind of a test video and I'd love your feedback. If you like how this sounds, let me know. And I won't promise this will be on all videos, but I think it will be on most. So that should hopefully be a good improvement. Okay, so I have the Stream 3 in front of me here, holding it in my hand. And the first thing we want to do is get to our notes bookshelf. So we'll press the one key until we get there. Text files, 10. Notes SD card. Generic, 5. Notes. So you heard it say a few things there. You heard it say notes SD card. Now, you can also now record on the internal memory as well. So if you don't have an SD card or for any reason, but you still want to record, well, you can do that now. So that's a really nice thing. And then you heard it say generic and five notes. So generic are notes that have no category assigned. And when you install this update, you will find that that's where your existing notes have been placed. So everything will be there. Now, if we had other categories, which actually I do, we can press the six key. Family, three notes, new things, three notes. And you're hearing some categories there. I'll press four to move back. Family, three notes, generic, five notes. And here we are back on generic. So that is there. Now, the nice thing about this feature and the thing that I'm very happy about is these categories are folders that are created within your dollar sign VR notes folder on the SD card. So if you look on the computer, everything is organized here. So it makes it very easy to find a recording if you want to transfer it to your computer for any reason or to back it up. Now those in the generic category are just in the root of your notes folder. So that's how that works. Now if we press um, the four key or go to the end of our categories, create category, there is create category. So let's say we want to create a category just for demonstration purposes. And we'll call this one enter category name, call this one fun. So to type on the stream, of course, I'll do three taps of the three key to get F F two on the eight key U for the U and two presses of six for N N and we can verify that with fast forward as always fun F U N and there we go. Let's create our fun category by pressing confirm confirmed completed create category and now Generic, family, three, notes, fun, zero, notes. We have our fun folder, but we have no notes in it yet. Don't worry, we'll take care of that shortly. So I'm going to start by going to family. generic. Generic, five, notes. So there we are on generic. I'll press confirm. Generic, five, notes. Two. 
and there's the first note in this category. But let's record a new note. So I'm going to go ahead and press the record key on the side of the stream three. Start recording. Hello everyone. This is a test recording and actually we're hearing that through the headphones as this is being monitored, but we are recording a video for this YouTube video. So hope you all enjoy learning about the notes categorization feature in the 1.4 update. Stop recording. Note 36 created. Okay, so our note has created and let's just verify. 36. And I'll press play. Hello everyone. This is a test. Okay, my um, audio sped up a little bit, so let me go ahead and fix that. Speed. Speed zero. Okay, now it should sound better. And actually we're hearing up through the headphones as this is being monitored, but we are recording a video. Okay, so there we go. There's our note. Now, let's say that we don't want this in generic. We want it in our fun folder, because why not? Testing things is fun. Let's press three. Delete note. So there's our delete note. We've had that for a while. I'll press three one more time. Move note. And here's move note. So I'll go ahead and press confirm. Select category, family. And it's asking us to select a category so we can press the six key. Fun. There's fun, press confirm. Completed, notes SD card, generic, five, notes, two, notes SD card, generic, five, notes. Okay, and it puts us back in our categories. So notice now. Generic, five, Go notes. back to generic. Two, 27, two. You'll notice our new note isn't there anymore. So I'll go ahead at this point, press the one key to go back to our bookshelf. Notes SD card, generic, five, notes. Okay, and let's press six. Family, fun, one, note. And, well, what do you know? We have one note now, and that should be what we just recorded. Let's press confirm. Fun, one, note. 36. Now, I'll press play. Hello, everyone. This is a test recording, and actually we're hearing that through the head. So there we go. Our note has been moved to the fun folder. Now, we do have a few other options to look at, so if I go ahead and press three. Delete note. Delete note, we can get rid of this. Move note. Move note, we could do this, as we just saw, and we could put this back in the root or in the generic folder as well, if we found that's where we want this. But we can also copy note. Copy the note. Delete note. And those are our options. Let's try copy. copy. So I'll press confirm to activate copy. Select category. Generic. And in this case, we'll have a copy put in generic. Completed. Notes SD card. Fun. One. Note. 36. Okay, and we're back in our folder. 36. With Bonus note 36. Monitored, but... And there's our note. So now let's go to generic. Press 1. Notes SD card. And 4. Family. Generic. Six. Notes. So we have six. Generic. Six. Notes. 37. And it creates a new note number, which is 37. Hello, but everyone. it is a copy is of a the audio from 36. Recording. And actually we're hearing that through the headphones. As this... So we'll keep that there. And here's something that I really like. So if we select a folder, so we want to make another recording. Let's press the one key. Notes SD card. Generic. Six. Notes. And we'll press six twice. Family. Fun. One. Note. And we'll create a new fun um, note. So fun. we're in one our fun note. 36. Um, category. And I'll start recording again. Start recording. Okay, this is our second note in the fun category. And this one we should not need to move as we're already there. So let's see what happens when I stop. Stop recording. Note 38 created. And 38. now it's numbered as 38. So we'll have 36 and 38 under fun. 36. So this is our first recording, I believe. Hello, everyone. 38. And okay, here's 38. this is our second note in the fun category. And this one we should not need to move. As and there you go. We are hearing 
the note playing. So that is awesome. So now if we go back to the bookshelf, the one key. Notes SD card. Fun. Two. Notes. Okay. And if we press three on the category. Delete category and notes. We could delete the category and notes. Delete notes in category. We can delete the notes in that category. Delete category and move notes. We can delete the category and move the notes. Consolidate notes. And we have the consolidate, which will kind of reorganize all of the note numbers, I believe, within all of the categories. Rename category. But we can also rename the category. Delete category and notes. So. Delete notes in category. Delete category and move notes. In this case, why don't we say we'll delete this category. Move all notes move. in this category to the generic category, then delete the current category. Press pound key to confirm or any other key to cancel. So this is going to move these notes back to generic. So that's fine. We'll do that. So I'll press confirm. Completed. And we've been advised that this is completed. So let's move with four. Create category. Generic. Eight notes. And we have eight notes now in our generic generic eight category. Notes. 37. Let's see what we have. 36. Hello, everyone. This is a test of that one. 37. Hello, everyone. Oh, that's our copy. This is a test. 38. Okay, this is our second note in the fun category. So there we go. We have everything here that we created. So let's go back to 37. 37. Hello, everyone. And I will delete this note. Delete note. So press confirm or press three first to say delete note. Press confirm. Confirm delete. 37. Press okay. pound key to confirm or any other key to cancel. So we have it marked for deletion. Let's press confirm. Deleted. Generic. Seven. Notes. 38. So that is a look at the notes categorization feature in Victor Reader Stream 3 version 1.4. I really like this feature. So as I mentioned, if we were to take the SD card out of the stream right now and place it in my computer, we would see those categories listed as folders in the dollar VR notes bookshelf folder. And I really like that. It makes keeping things organized so much easier and yeah, I just find it makes a big difference in making sure that things are organized and easy to locate. I think that really helps as well. Now, one thing I meant to point out as we started the demo, the voice I was using is also new with the 1.4 update. This is a new Canadian English voice, Melanie, and I've been really enjoying using her as my system voice and I've done some reading with her as well and have found her to be very pleasant. So that's the voice that I was using to do this demo so that also gives you a sense of what it sounds like working with the Stream 3. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful and do let me know what you think of this audio quality in the comments. If I'm able to make this work and make it even work a bit better, I will continue to do this. I think it should make it easier to hear the devices as I'm demonstrating them and get a sense of what is happening. So I'd love to know your thoughts. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. You can also find me on Mastodon at Gallagher123123 at dragonscave.space. Thank you again for watching. We will see you in an upcoming video.